In this video, I'm going to show you how to import private keys into the Z Classic Electrum Wallet. There are two ways that you can bring an existing Z Classic account into the Electrum Wallet. You can either import your private keys or sweep them. If you import your private keys, your Z Classic will continue to exist in the same private key and public address. If you sweep your private keys, the Z Classic will be put into a new address with a brand new private key. I'll show you how to import private keys first. So what you're going to do is go to File, New or Restore, and we're going to create a new wallet. Wallet 2 is fine for a name. Hit next and we're going to import Z Classic addresses or private keys and then this is where you would paste in your private key so I already have a paper wallet loaded up that I'm going to use there it is so I'm going to copy my private key and I'm going to paste it in here. And you'll notice that I still don't have the option to go next. And it took me a little while to figure this out, but if you look at my private key right here, NSFB, it's actually missing that F for some reason. So now it recognized this as a valid private key. I have the option to go and click next. And there it is. We can look at our addresses and you can see that this address has stayed the same, EKG, EKG. So it's the same public address, same private key. I have access to it now in my Electrum wallet. Um, and this is not what I would recommend. I would recommend sweeping your keys. So let me show you how to sweep instead. I'm going to go to Wallet, Private Keys, Sweep, and here I'm going to enter the private key again. And once again, I'm missing the F. There it is. And you can see here, it's already telling us it's going to put them into a new address, whatever Z Classic I have in this private key. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's sweep it in there. And this does incur a transaction fee because you're actually moving it from one address to another. So this is showing us what the transaction is going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and send and it's asking for my password to do that. Okay. And it was sent. Bound transaction. And here is my address with that new balance. And that is how you sweep private keys into the Electrum wallet and I would recommend doing it that way. Get a brand new address, brand new private key, and then you'll also want to back up your addresses. So if we go to File, Backup Wallet, and then you can save that on a USB drive, on a different computer, and then you'll have that information safely stored in multiple places. 